Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Izzy or Rokon and welcome back to Blank Dream. Now, I, as I said before, I actually had this video recorded and done with, but I, frig I accidentally deleted it. So I gotta make a new one and I don't know where I am. So that was also a thing. I wanted to wait uh, like a month or so before I uploaded it again so I can kind of experience the same things. But anyway, uh, I think we, I think I remember going through here. Now that she's broken all the mirrors, perhaps Mishira can open this door if she wishes. Now let's open it. I don't know anything. I don't remember anything from this. And that's kind of what I wanted. Because I wanted to go through this again. Uh, okay. Huh? Hey. Ayato? Why are you here? Because this soul is necessary for granting your wish. Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? It's, it's dark in my room, by the way. Sorry about that. I wanted to get, get the atmosphere. This mirror world revolves around you, Mishiro. You hold dominion over it. Once, a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake. I wish my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, this mirror world was created. It was only It was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn into it. She should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it, because she broke before she could. Just as she, just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator. So that this world complete its duty, it chose a new soul to control it. And so since you carried the same wish, you became the new ruler, usurping the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who feel jealousy toward you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe, broken though she may be, she's personally gotten in your way at times. Even so, you successfully broke all of the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months be being lost. You shattered and re erased all remnants of you in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all your actions, I can attest to that. Oh man. But it's not over just yet. This boy's soul is absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life cannot be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him by your own hand. You aren't telling me I have to kill Ayato? What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that you'll have never even existed. Mishiro, you're still suffering, huh? If you kill me, You'll be free from your pain. Right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your world. You can make the choice. Oh man, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, oh. What do you think, guys? You know what? I'm gonna do like last time. I'm gonna grab my wish, and then I'm gonna make another video, and it's gonna say I'll kill Ayato. How about that? All right. So I'll grant my wish. There's no choice to make. I threw myself in to put an end to it all. And yet I wound up in this world, learning all these unnecessary things, let it stray. I'm just tired. Enough of this. I've worked hard enough, so just grant my wishes already. Dang, son. The moment the knife in Mishiro's hand pierced Ayato, Mishiro lost consciousness. With no time to feel satisfaction nor regret from what she'd done. Mishiro Usui eternally vanished from existence. Not just silence. Not just stillness, but void. There, Mishiro Usui was peaceful, free from everything, eternally sleeping in a cradle of nothingness. And her dream was surely a hollow white. Ending 4 fulfilled, her wish was granted she was surely happy. Well, uh, how can she be happy if she doesn't even exist? That's, that's the better question. Alright, so we've done, and you know what, I'm not even going to make a video, I can just do it right here. I mean... I, I, I may, if, since I'm here, I may as well. So let's do... How do I... Okay, I forgot how to sprint for a sec. 
so now we're gonna pick the other choice, which is Ku Ayata, which is kind of the same thing in retrospect, unless there's something else I'm missing. I'll just skip through this really quick. And we're back. Uh, well, we've done I'll Grant My Wish, so now the only other option is to kill Ayato. So let's see what happens. There's no choice to make. I threw myself in to put an end to it all, and yet I wound up in this world learning all these unnecessary things led astray. I'm just tired. Enough of this. I've worked hard enough, so just grant my wishes already. This looks very, very similar. The moment the knife in Mishiro's hand pierced Ayato, Mishiro lost consciousness. With no time to feel satisfaction, nor regret from what she's done. Mishiro Usui et eternally vanished from existence. Not just silence, not just stillness, but void. There, Mishiro Usui was peaceful, free from everything, eternally sleeping in the cradle of nothingness, and her dream was surely a hollow white. And it's the same thing! What the f- this is, this is the sa It's the same exact ending. Am I missing something here? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'll be right back. Alright, so, I, I did some reading up, and uh, let me minimize this for the atmosphere. Um, so, there's multiple endings, apparently. So what I think I'm going to do is just do each ending, maybe, if I can, and then see where that goes. That, that way I, I can at least cover the bases, because I didn't really like ending 4 at all. So, um... Which, uh, what is this? Okay, this is, I gotta look for the room called the Realm of Beauty, and I do not know where that is, so I'm just gonna use each safe point to find the right, uh, the appropriate room. This is definitely not the Realm of Beauty, I'm pretty sure of that. Yep, Realm of Death, okay, cool. So I think I'm going after ending two, and I will not explain what happens, because I don't even know what happens. I just know how to get there. Well, I just know how to... Okay, here it is. I just know how to get there. Okay, not... Not touch that, because I've, I've, I've been there. Okay, let's see here. Um, This is not it. Ah, oh, fuck. I guess I'm looking for a, a mirror. Uh, I, damn, I can't remember anything from this game. Which is exactly what I wanted, actually. Okay. Okay. I guess I don't know everything yet. I guess I don't remember everything. <laughs> okay. Dang, where is it? Uh. Fuck. Um. I don't want to have to keep going back and forth to the uh the book. I mean the uh. The walkthrough so I can figure shit out. Teddy bear stairs with front eyes. Blah blah blah. Yada yada. Uh, this is this can't be it, can it? Yeah, something doesn't seem right here. All right. Well, before I get distracted, I gotta look for a mirror, but I, I have no idea where to look. Uh, let's see this room. Do you have what I desire? It's a fireplace. Descend? I think I've been here before, haven't I? Pretty sure I did. Oh, hello. The grave door is locked. Don't. Good as morning. Hmm. How do I unlock that door is the better question. You know what? I'm gonna look it up again. I'll be right back. Alright, so, here's the plan. Uh, I'm going to go and, uh, according to the walkthrough that I have here, um, I'm going to go and un unlock, I guess, or activate all of Yuzu's mirrors, the, uh, the girl that you first meet in the game. I figured that she's probably the easiest to do, and then we can go and get a better ending. I mean, we've already gotten four. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to get a walkthrough and uh, and finish getting the rest of the endings just for completion's sake. But I can also do uh, the teacher's, uh, or that man's, I don't know who he is, um, mirror as well. Probably uh, 
maybe in this video or in the next video, depending on how long this one takes. So, uh, first thing I did was I entered this room and I hit that lever right there. And now I have to go to the realm of greenery. And apparently there is a door to the top right that will lead me to users, one of you want to use those mirrors. Apparently a, a, uh, they each have three. So we'll go and do that. Okay. So here's one right here, I believe. Uh, okay. Realm of, realm of beauty mirror room. Okay, so this is one of Yuzu's mirrors, apparently. The mirror shows Yuzu reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Mishira looks. Uh, do I, do I smash it? No, that's not what I want. But it doesn't tell me how to... Do I... Do I bother with it? Alright, well... Alright. So, let's go to the realm of love next, according to the walkthrough. I don't like using walkthroughs too much, but I kind of want to get through this completion as, as quick as possible. I mean, by the way, we, we've done most of the game by ourselves, so I mean, why not? Okay, so now the next is the realm of love. Wherever that may be. Okay. Now that oh, here we go. Go into the room where the doll was initially standing and then through the silver door. God, I, I don't know what's going to freaking pop out at me. Okay. Uh, is this going to be like another one of those things where I have to like have this in particular order? Because man, these are pretty dang annoying. Okay. Cool. So now we've gotten to the second mirror. The mirror shows nothing. Maybe some requirement needs to be met. I do- I do- What requirement? Man. What requ I've done everything, haven't I? Let's do this again. Maybe there's something I did wrong. Alright, uh, I think I kind of figured it out. Um, I found one of the user's mirrors, like I showed you before, so now I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Yuzu herself. Huh? You saw one of my mirrors? Whoa, Monsieur, what a discovery! Lead me there right away! If we're together, even those realms won't scare me. When you enter the realm with the mirror, Yuzu will automatically follow. Alright, so let's take her to the first one, first of all. Um, I think that's probably the most ideal uh, option. And she's following me, which is even better. Perfect. Um, it's this way. Over here. Uh, let's see. Take her down here. And here you are, girl. The mirror shows Yuzu's reflection. You're right. It's me. I I'm getting nervous all of a sudden. But these are my memories. I need to remember them. Stare. Oh, man. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Eight years ago. A middle school. A middle school, middle school. That's a hell of a name, boy. Sigh. During break time, I, Yuzu Hanasaki, Set down in my seat inside. 18 year olds are seen as audacious, but they still have troubles in internal conflict. Hanasaki? Eh, oh what? The day duty diary. It's your turn today, so the teacher... Ah, that's right. Thank you very much, Utsuro. Hmm. Well, that's all. Ah. Once again, we couldn't keep talking, though I longed to talk with her more. I, Yuzu Hanasaki, was captivated by Utsuro. She was so unlike the other students, a girl of few words with mysterious air, long eyelashes always looking tired, and her skin and hair was white as snow. It was apparently a kind of albinoism. At first I thought I just wanted to be her friend, but quickly, rise it, quickly realized it wasn't that. Even if it was but puppy love, I was certainly in love with her. Oh, that's cute. It is strange, isn't it? But I was troubled. I loved her, but at the same time, I hesitated at the idea of loving a girl. I at least want to be more friendly with her, if not as a lover, then as a good friend. So she's she's in love. That's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. 
Oh, is that, that's it? Oh. <laughs> I remembered. Y yes, that's right. Those are my memories from age 18, alright. She doesn't even look 18. You, you saw that too, huh, Mishiro? I'm embarrassed. It's a free country. Th thanks? Won't you break the mirror? Huh? Break it? Why? Sh sure, I wouldn't want everybody to see, but I'd need to deal with them. But I need to be with them to look inside. So it's probably fine. So it's probably fine not to break it. Anyway, Mishiro, thanks. Because of you, I finally remembered something else about myself. Now let's return. Tell me if anything else comes up. So I guess I have to come back to her every time I discover a new mirror. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll go to the second mirror, which didn't have the reflection of her before, and I'm going to assume that her reflection will be there now. So let's go and find out. Alright, we are at the second one. So she should be there. And perfect! The mirror shows user reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Mishiro looks. Alright, so... Mm, let's go back to Yuzu and find out if she... Uh, she cares. Yuzu, Yuzu! I got something to show you, dog! Come here! Well, what are my mirrors? Wow, two in such a short time? They'd be there right away. If we're together, even those realms won't scare me. Oh man. I like how nobody's just like taking note of that blood that's there. You would think that Yuzu would be able to, but no. Go up here. Then we make it right. But this is kind of interesting. I wonder if I can do uh, the other guys as well in this video. Probably not, but... The mirror shows Yuzu's reflection. Okay. I think I'm getting used to this now. This mirror's got my past, my memories. You know, I'm thinking surely they show memories with something to do with my wish. If looking in the mirrors might tell me my wish, I'm excited, but a little scared at the same time. Seven years ago. Mirror Lake. Oh man. I know where this is going. Please don't. Because it's going to hurt me. Pretty sunset, huh, Suro? Sunset is a witching to hour. <laughs> well, <laughs> sick of forking me, I'm done. Sunset is a witching hour. This moment's beauty comes with it being the sun, being when the sun dies. Even though the, even though these, we see the sun for twelve hours a day, we always forget its beauty. Hmm, I guess. But I like the sun in the day too. You're positive about everything, Yuzu. It's been a year getting to know Utsuro. I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel, but we're together as best friends a bunch. Of course, I still like her romantically, but just spending time together, period, is nice. Twilight is a vacious thing. I think I said that word wrong. Va vacuous? It's, ne it's neither day or night, and people spend it preparing for the coming night. Twilight isn't watched and enjoyed, it's just empty and hollow. Much like my name. Is the sunset making you sentimental? I think Usu was a great name. A great name? I hate it. To be called Hollow? It feels more like a denial of my existence. Hmm. But I like how it feels all translucent. It matches your mysterious air, too. Is that right? You know, Yuzu, I'm a person who shouldn't exist in this world. Huh? What's this now? Just the fact I'm alive is a mistake. My existence is a cluster of sin. You mean, like, original sin? Did you ever tell me you were Christian, Utsuro? I don't mean anything like that. In a more concrete way, I shouldn't exist. I don't get what you're saying, Utsuro. I mean, isn't shouldn't exist really extreme? We get along so well. If you didn't exist, what would I do? If, hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. That is hard. I can only blankly listen to Utsuro whose words felt so disconnected from reality. It was as if Utsuro saw something different, and I couldn't perceive things the same way. Whoa. That is... pretty deep. Sucks for her, though. Yeah, I remember. Even as I got closer to her, Utsuro was a strange girl, though that was charming in a way. Most of my memories of Utsuro are back now, and now I know these are important memories to me. I still be I still can't remember up to my death, but it seems I've remembered some things precious to Yuzu Hanasaki. And it's thanks to you, Mishiro. Really, thanks a lot. Oh, I know. 
Take this. Monsieur got a mystery key. I picked that up earlier, but I don't know how to use it. I'm sure it'll be useful to use somewhere, maybe. Okay, let's return. Tell me if there's anything else. Okay. Alright, you know what? I've made uh, quite a bit of progress with Yuzu's. Let me save it really quick. Uh, I will take one last break so I can get the third mirror, get the good ending, and be done. So I will be right back. And we are back. And uh, I figured out where to get the third one. So we are going to do this right now, boy. Uh, now, where is the thing? I think it's this way, I believe. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot the ghost was gone, which is awesome. Let's strengthen this. There you go. Sweet. Looking closely, there's a ladder in the fireplace. Descend. So I think this is where the last mirror is, if I remember. Unlock the door with the mystery key. Ooh. I don't like that bear being there. The teddy bear has stairs with round eyes. Cute. The mirror shows Yuzu's reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Mishiro looks. Alright, so this is the last one. And we're gonna go talk to Mizuru. I mean, Mizuru. Uh, Yuzu. And... We get a pretty decent ending. I guess two endings in one video isn't so bad. Although this one was a bit of a struggle to... Uh, figure it out, but who cares? Okay, here is Yuzu. Yuzu, Yuzu! I found your mirror, dog! Come, come! Don't mind the blood there. I just had really bad period. Man, this is a trippy, a trippy house. That's for damn sure. If I don't even know what this is, it might be a house. It may not be. It's something. It's definitely something. The mirror shows Yuzu's reflection. Seems a little different than from the others. Like the atmosphere in in the area. I never would have found this place myself, even after literal years. Look, let's cut the chatter. I'm just too worked up. Let's go for it. Oh man, I hope she doesn't die here. She might end up dying though. Okay, I was only kidding about that. If, hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. A few days ago, the body of Utsuru Hinohara was found in Mirror Lake. Oh no! Why? Why did Utsuro? No, it hasn't been enough. We didn't spend enough time together. Has Hanasaki seemed gloomier lately? I mean, she got along well with Hinohara, so I can understand being depressed, but it's not that kind of gloominess, it's like... The local library isn't enough. They don't have books on this stuff. I need... Seances. Necromancy. It all lacks credibility. I don't want this fake occult nonsense. Yuzu, have you been going to class? If I open the gate this way... Today marks a year to the day. Wait for me, Utsuro. I've been studying up this past year. And now I'm going to meet you. Oh no. She's doing a wrong. I remember it all. How I died. My wish and everything else. Of course, there's no such thing as black magic. I must have been on the brink, huh? Whew! I'm kind of exhausted. Getting all these memories dumped on me. Once I've sorted things out some... Once I've sorted things out some more, i tell you my history and wish, Mishiro. Oh, are you going to go up ahead? Take me with you if you do. I feel like there's something very important to this world up ahead. Yeah, that's, that's cool. We might as well. Open the large door. Yeah, let's fucking do it, man. What's that? Someone's there. You're... Once, there was a painter. He was known as the mad genius, Rinzo Usui. 
Huh? You know my grandpa? Wait, Mishiro. It looks like maybe she isn't aware of us. Rinzo has a, had a wife, but he also had a relationship with a servant. With his wife, he had a child, Shinji. With the servant, he had a child, Tamaki. Rinzo's two children, born of different mothers. Huh? Tamaki was an Ill illegitimate child of an affair, but because Shinji showed no interest in art, Rinzo's affection was often directed at Tamaki, who did have an interest in the arts. Tamaki learned art from Rinzo, and given deep love, grew in the shadow of the Usui family. But these irregular days couldn't last. When Tamaki turned 12, oh fuck, I skipped it. Rinzo divorced his wife, but gave Tamaki her and her mother the same love as ever. Thus far, no tragedy had occurred. But when Tamaki turned 18, Rinzo made an unforgivable mistake. He had a li liaison? Oh, with Tamaki, his own daughter, and impregnated her. Tamaki was deeply wounded and feared Rin Rinzo, and with her mother, she fled from him. But the child she bore had done no wrong, so she, so she decided to birth the child of her father. So Tamaki had a daughter, a daughter between parent and child. Tamaki thought she couldn't live a normal happy life, but luckily two years later, she had a proper marriage. Safely having a son with her husband, Tamaki be began to get back on her feet. However, she never fully did. The mental wounds Tamaki had suffered went even deeper than she had imagined. When her now grown daughter with Renzo began doing art at school, Tamaki's old wounds ached. It gave her flashbacks to Renzo, of that fear she had of him. Tamaki struggled to give her daughter affection. It took all she had to not, not to take out negative emotions on her. Tamaki's mind quickly crumbled under the weight. And one day, Tamaki killed her own daughter. Tamaki fell to pieces. She came to feel animosity not only toward Rinzo, but all of the Usis, Usuis. Unable to see any hope ahead, she fell upon the, the despair behind. Rinzo died of natural causes a few years later, and while she had the right to his inheritance, she refused to take it. She wouldn't even let it go to the eldest son, Shinji. Then at last, Tamaki, who had kept living despite having broken long ago, met her end. When she learned the son she had her husband was becoming friends with Shinji's daughter. You mean, Tamaki, try Tamaki tried to take out Shinji's daughter, the Usui who dared, come, who dared come near her pure son. But when she drove madly down the road to kill her, she ran her over she ran over her own son by mistake. Tamaki realized that this was the end. So she took her own life to escape the despair. No way. That's so messed up. That woman's soul was now bound here. Unlike the other souls, the world is forcing her to be here. Tamaki's soul is now bound in death, so that she can't escape, but must face the facts. This is surely my punishment. I've gone on for a while. I can't see or hear you. But I know you're there. I don't know who you are, but go now. Let's go, Mishiro. We shouldn't stay here any longer. Wow. That is some heavy, heavy stuff, man. Uh. So what now? Should we return to the usual place? With Tamaki's story, I, I realized something. Okay, let's get started. Uh, what? I... I... Okay. I'll shut up. First, Mishiro. I think you can open this big door here. You opened a similar door earlier, right? I bet you can open this one too if you try to. So before that, listen... Ah. Who, who's this? Get out. Stop. Don't meddle anymore. Give back my world. Oh no, you motherfucker! Gah. Yuzu, why? You, Zu. This works just fine. You listen to this too. I'm Yuzu Hanasaki. 
a middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Mirror Lake. The reason I killed myself was, to put it bluntly, to meet a girl I loved. Someone had killed her at Mirrored Lake. It made me extremely sad. So I read all these books on black magic and killed myself to go to the afterlife. To die at the same place exactly a year later. It, it said that would work. It, is that wound okay? Don't worry about me. It doesn't really matter now. Huh? I think it's a different afterlife than what the book meant. But ultimately, I came to this world. But it seems there was something to be gained here. That girl, she always said, she was someone who shouldn't have existed. I always found it weird and wondered why it was, but I found out now. She was born between a girl and her own father, between Tamaki Hinohara and Rizo Usui. Her very birth was taboo. Isn't that right, Utsuro? Uh, uh, leave this world. Can she not talk like she wants to? She doesn't need to. I know. Because I've always known Utsuro. Thank you, Mishiro. Because of you, I could get back my memories and my wish. And I learned about Utsuro's birth and death. My wish, wa my wish was to meet Utsuro one more time. It's, it's come true, finally. Your body. You, Zoo. I've done what I needed to do in this world, so I'm satisfied. It feels like it's taken so long, but Utsuro was here before I was. I don't know what kind of wish you had, Utsuro, but considering your birth and death, I'm sure it was not something simple. I hope it comes true, and I'm glad that even if you're like that now, you can still recognize me. I, um, sorry for digging into your vest. She's been here for much longer than us, and finally got her wish granted. Must be satisfied, I guess. Her wish. And my wish. Wait, wait! Utsuro, was it? Is she... a soul like us, I wonder? Somehow, I get the feeling she has a close connection to this world. Maybe the answer is behind this door. Oh man, this is crazy. But you can kind of tell that's Utsuro because of her silhouette. So that's kind of cool. That's a nice little touch. Let's go save it. Since we are here already. Open the large door. Open it, man! Oh boy. More of this. Huh? Hey. Ayato? Why are you here? Because this stole is necessary for granting your wish. Hello, me. So you've successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? This mirror will revolve around you, Mishiro. Hold, you hold dominion over it. Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, this mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn into it. She should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it, because she broke down before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world, meant, this world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. Was it that girl? Uchiro Hinohara? Yes, she wanders this world even now. It seems seeing Yuzu elected some change, elicited some change, but still, a long way off from regaining her memories. Utsuro Hinohara, sister. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same world, the same wish, at, wish as the world's creator, so that this world can complete its duty. It chose a new soul to control it. And so since you carried the same wish, you became the new ruler, usurping the originator. The wish, this, the wish the world sought to grant stayed the same. Only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who feel jealousy toward you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe, broken though she may be, she's personally gotten in your way at times. Even so, 
You, su you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shed out and erased all remnants of you in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all your actions, I can attest to that. But it's not over just yet. This boy so is absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life. Sim because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can't be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him by your own hand. You aren't telling me I have to kill Ayato. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you will never have existed. Mishiro, you're still suffering, huh? You do resemble my sister after all, even as a soul you have her same wish. If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your world, you can make the choice. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I've overcome a lot of obstacles coming here. I've looked back on my past and erased it. But is it really right to just make it so I never existed? Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you ask whether I lived the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. But seeing Yuzu and Utsuro, I had a thought. If Utsuro's life had never existed, what would become of Yuzu's feelings? Desperately turning to black magic, killing herself and wandering this world for years, all to finally realize her wish to meet her again. What would become of that? I have the same wish as Utsuro and... I won't grant my wish. I won't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. For every mirror I broke, I'll vanish from the lives of, pe of the people I knew. And I'll also vanish from Ayato's world. But then what did Ayato die for? What did Tamaki I step, step on the accelerator for? If it were just me, then fine. But to control the feelings of the people around me? I have no right. That's not my wish anymore. Are you really sure about that? Whatever you think, whatever you know, it won't actually change anything. Are you still giving up your wish? I am. I see. I, the mirror world, accept abandoning the wish. Its reason for being ends here. Huh? This world can vanish when the ruler's wish is granted, or they abandon it with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air like it had been. So will everyone here vanish? Except for you, Mishiro. To get straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Huh? Your soul has left your body, of course, but your body isn't actually dead. You drowned yourself. But as it happens, a passerby found you. They called it in right away, and through uncon and though unconscious, you were saved. It was a failed attempt. Mishiro, when your soul leaves here, it'll be forced back into your body. But what you've done in this world won't be written off. The memories you caused, the memories you erased by breaking the mirrors, won't come back to you when you return to life. You didn't actually carry out your wish, so the actual past isn't gone, but your memories of it were, and memories of it are. Maybe you will remember taking, talking with me a bit, but thing, things like meeting me at the lake? Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you live in the world you've given up on living in once before? I'll live. Because I'm not dead yet. I don't want to just throw away the life you protected, Ayato. And by discarding the wish I inherited from Utsuro, I think it'll honor Yuzo's feelings. I see. That's a relief then. I absolutely can't understand my wish, my sister's wish, but you've made the choice for her. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up that wish was the right thing to do. I'll try my best. Don't worry about me. I want my love to have never existed. Whatever the reason for it, it's not a happy wish. And you realized it. That's a big deal. I mean it. You got you got back on your feet instead of falling into darkness. Somehow, it... Well, it makes me happier than anything. Well, I'm gonna retire ahead of you. Gonna see what things are like in heaven. I'm sure you'll go there, Ryotaro. Sheesh. Seven years and it, seen, and it ends like this? As long as the ruler's satisfied, I suppose. Will Otsuro go to heaven too? Not sure about heaven or hell, but... She'll be free from this world to go where she goes. That's good. I say ruler, but you're more of a usurper, technically. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world, and I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go.
After that, I regained consciousness in a hospital bed. Apparently, I had, I really had been saved, and my soul returned safely from the mirror world. There was a woman I didn't know beside me. Mishiro, you're awake? Who are you? My brain has suffered memory loss, and I could no longer remember my many past events. I couldn't remember my supposed mother at all. All I had left was a faint unease toward my mother, as well as the desperate expression made by the woman I woke up beside when she heard that. I remembered Ayato was someone important to me, but I had no concrete memories of him. But I distinctly remember talking in the mirror world, and felt considerable warmth from that alone. I clearly remembered Yuzu and Ryotaro too. I had probably only met them in the mirror world. Mishiro Usui was it? Is it? Hello, I'm Seichi Hinohara. A few days after I left the hospital, a man came to visit me. His last name sounded familiar. Could you be Ayato's? Yes. Thank you for getting along with Ayato. Seichi, Seichi Hinohara was Ayato's father, which meant he was the one who married Tamaki, and he was the father who Utsuro grew up with. Don't worry too much about your mother. When the woman calling herself my mother learned I had no memory of her, she vanished. I lacked any real sense of her being my mother, so it meant re re so it meant relatively little to me. It'd be a long story, but I had a wife and two children, but now none of them are left. They've all passed away, and you're alone again also. Do you know where you're going to live now? No. Paying tuition seems impossible, so I think I'll have to drop out and work. I see. Mishiro, would you let me adopt you? Huh? We're both tired souls who've lost everything. You've got along with Ayato, so we're not total strangers. And you remind me of my daughter a bit, but maybe that's just wishful thinking. Won't you give it some thought? And so I began a new life as Mishiro Hinohara. I'm taking new steps in the same house where Ayato and Utsuro once lived. It was a strange kind of chance, but Seichi's a very gentle person. He's taking up art again, and he has been teaching me between studies. Dreaming of seeing the world the way Ayato did, catching up to the days I have lost, once more I let my brush run free. Now that was a much better ending than killing Ayato, definitely. Well, that was awesome. I love this game very much. Now I can actually get the 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 best ending, which I haven't done yet. But um, I'm gonna take a short break from Blank Dream, um, and hopefully it won't be as haphazard <laughs> as it was when I was trying to get the second uh, the second ending here. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed it very, very much. I encourage anyone who is into like RPG Maker games to definitely check this game out. You will love it absolutely. And uh, yeah, this is amazing. I, I love this game. It was really fun. Can I uh, can I skip this? I don't want. No, I can't skip this. Um, dang. Um, so the next game I'm probably going to do is Undertale. I really wanted to play Undertale quite a bit. I've I've seen like a bunch of people playing it at the time. It was like super popular, and I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna play it there because I would be kind of jumping the bag wagon, which I, honestly I don't really care too much about anyway. But I figured now is probably a good time to play because I won't get spoiled. Uh, but yeah, I um I encourage you to get Blank Dream. I'll leave it in the description below on where to get it, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. So later.